Hey y'all, welcome to Pillow Talk with D and me. Obviously, I'm me and D is behind the camera today. Um, I'm going to show you guys our day-to-day -day life. And right now, I'm rinsing off this broccoli because I'm gonna need that later. Um, I'm gonna end up making some general sauce chicken. So if you hear the popping back there, that is the grease for the chicken. We're gonna make the general sauce sauce from scratch, okay? So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop up these, um, this broccoli. Okay, so as I chop up the broccoli, this is just gonna go inside the, um, the wok when I'm ready to put everything together. But I'm just doing this while I am waiting for my grease to get hot. I know it sounds like it's popping. That grease is hot as hell. I just washed out the pot, so it's like water in there, and I'm afraid that. <laughs> Don't be like that. It sounds hot. But this is what we do, y'all. This is what we do. He asks for something to eat. I cook it. He wants Chinese food. And yeah, you don't want me to leave the house because of the corona. I don't. So, get, yeah, get in here get this Chinese food hopping. All right. Let me get my gloves on. I'm about to start with this chicken. And all I'm going to do is, um, I've already seasoned my chicken. I use chicken thighs. And I cut them up. And I put the flour on them already. It's seasoned with um, some allspice, onion powder, garlic powder. Um, I use this Chinese spice too, but not too much because remember, we're going to coat these with the general sauce, um, salt. So I didn't do too, too much, you know, salt and pepper, regular ish. You feel me? All right. So I'm going to test it. See if it's ready. All right. That don't sound like it's ready. Yo. Yeah. I'm going to wait. See, I told you, you got me rushing. All right, so as you can see, I'm taking these gloves off because I touched the chicken. And I'm gonna keep cutting my broccoli. So. What kind of sauce you gonna make with that broccoli though? Huh? What kind of sauce you gonna make with the broccoli? You want a different sauce? Because the broccoli I was making the same sauce. I was oh, just put the general sauce in there? I mean, if you want a different sauce, I can make a different sauce. I don't know. I'll let you know by the end of this. Here you go. All right, I'm cutting up my broccoli, guys. I'm just pulling it apart, the crowns, and then I'm going to end up putting it in a bowl just to kind of chill out until I'm done doing what I'm doing. So while this grease is getting hot, we can actually start on the sauce. This doesn't have to be a long video at all. I like to multitask while I cook. It's the best way for me to get stuff done because of course I still gotta be mom, wife, especially to the wife. As y'all can see he's quite demanding. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the chicken's starting to go now so let me get my gloves on. We can. My hands are probably not dry enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're a creep, yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead. So the glove fiasco has ended, <laughs> and I got them on. Now it's time to drop this chicken. And what we can start to do is gathering what we need for the sauce, right? You're going to need some rice vinegar, some soy sauce, some cornstarch, sesame oil, chopped garlic. Now you can do that any way you want to. You can buy fresh garlic, chop it up, whatever. Hey, yo, you hitting the Vanna White pose with every one of these. <laughs> okay. Some crushed red top up. We got put you on a TV show or something. Some ginger. Now this is the ginger I like to use, but you can use you can use fresh ginger and chop that up as well. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'll try and zoom in on that thing. Some brown sugar. Make that thing sweet. Yeah. Boom. And some chicken stock. So let me tell y'all how these grocery stores is right now with this coronavirus going on. Ain't no chicken stock. 
So I'm making some chicken broth. Because I look for it. I look for beef stock. I look for chicken stock. This is how we cook it right now. We cook it on a budget right now. This is fresh broccoli, but I had some that was frozen too. Let me tell you, because everything is expensive. The grocery stores is gone. So this meal is easy peasy. I'm telling you, it's so easy to do. All right, I'm going to check on my chicken right quick. Frying up good. The general style sauce, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I got my second batch of chicken on, and I started mixing my items. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave you guys the recipe of what you need for what, like how much two table, tablespoons of this, four tablespoons of that, at the end of this uh, video. But right now, um, do I do want to come a little closer? I got this frying. As you can see, I got this coming to a boil. That cornstarch is thickening it up, right? So I'm just gonna keep stirring it. I'm gonna take it off the stove now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna throw a couple dashes of the red pepper flakes. It was a little bit more than a oh, dash. Oh, that's about to be hot. <laughs> but I love mine kind of spicy. And as you can see, it has the right consistency. It's thick. I'm gonna check on mine. It's thick, huh? It's nice and thick, baby. Okay. So I got the last part of the chicken. There's no more grease popping in the background. I'm gonna take the sauce and I'm just gonna drizzle it over. I mean, I'm gonna give it all that work. All that drizzle, all that wet, wet. And I'm taking my whisk just to get the last little bit out. All right. And just for the sake of time, guys, I did not make the rice in this video. Um, my previous YouTube video, you can see how to make the rice. Um, now, if you want fried rice, I can do another video for that. So, that'll come along later. Damn, that look good. I ain't even gonna lie, that look good. Because I'm good like that, baby. That joint looks like it's about to be busting. Yes. So, what I'm about to do is I'm going to take my wok. And what I like to do is just get a little bit of the sesame oil. I like a little bit of garlic. I'm not going to do a lot to my broccoli. Just enough to season it a little bit because I'm going to add it to my rice um, or put it on the side. But you just don't want it to be like flavorless, right? But I love to saute my broccoli in the wok. So give me a minute to get prepared to get all of my seasonings out for that. And I'll be right back. I'm back. So first thing I did was I turned my stove on because you want this wok to be nice and hot. When that oil hits the wok, you want it to just start to spread. That's the good stuff right there. You know how it is when you with your hubby and you just already ready. This is what he. This is foreplay right here. We got the heat turned up. We already ready to go. We're gonna have the. I'm gonna circle the oil around, and honestly, y'all, a little bit goes a long way. Please, please don't put a whole whole bunch in there, or else it'll just taste like burnt sesame seeds, and you don't want that. So I'm gonna um, get it going, and I need a lot. I cut up a lot of um, broccoli. We really don't need this much. And as you can see, I don't even have my heat all the way up. I don't have it all the way up. I'm gonna take a little lemon pepper. Pepper. Just a little bit. Just a salad because the white ain't really a fan. Some onion powder. And like I said, I'm not putting a whole bunch on here. I'm going to let the broccoli do what it does. But I'm going to shake this up before it starts to get a little weird and burning. All right. And honestly, I'm going to let this cook off. I'm gonna let it do what it do. Get on my plate, and it's gonna be ready to go. We're gonna have rice, we're gonna have broccoli, and we're gonna have general style chicken, baby. Just that quick. All right, y'all. I'm back. I've done my best at trying to plate. 
Keep in mind, I'm not a professional chef, although I do do this on the side as far as my business for meal prepping. But um, it's just something I love to do. So I have the sauce here. I'm just gonna drizzle some more on the chicken. My husband is all about sauce or gravy. Oop, I got some on the plate. So I'll wipe that off in a second. But I'll drizzle more on. And honestly, this is it. I mean, all together, this took maybe, what, 20 minutes? It wasn't hard at all. I did have um, some of it prepped before, so if you like to um, prep your food to cut down time, this is one of the best recipes to make. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description box. If you like it, great. You can add to it, you can take away, you can add spice, you can add dried chilies to this sauce. You can add more brown sugar to it to make it sweeter. If you like more vinegar, you can, um, add more of the rice rice wine vinegar but this is the end result this is what we have it's quite tasty let's let Dwight taste and see what he thinks we're gonna, we're gonna let him give it a touch it better be banging too <laughs> so just because I know my husband we're gonna start like it because y'all know he don't like vegetables right yeah so let's get straight to the rice and the meat <laughs> all right open up babe <laughs> what you think Yeah, that's a hit. That's good. If I like it, it's good because I don't really eat meat. Go figure, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good look. Mm. That All was right. good. So, I don't know. I'm about to stop filming so I can tear this up because I'm telling y'all, that's ain't banger. <laughs> All right. So, um, Dwight and I have a special video coming up for y'all soon. We just got to edit it. We're going to try to give y'all some more. Um, some more. Um, sorry, I'm trying. Oh, to... yeah, your mouth full. My mouth is full. You used to it. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe y'all get no, y'all get it. But anyway, we gotta go. We're gonna upload more um stuff for y'all to view. Again, subscribe, like, share. If you like this recipe, please tell me that you like it. Comment if you, you redid it, if you recreated it. Give me your, your points, your tips. All of it is welcome. Thank you for watching Pillow Talk with DNA.